Hi, my name is Margie Geiser, president of Meg Enterprises. I help wellness, fitness, and holistic health professionals develop focus and clarity so that they can create prosperity in both their business and their life. Today, I want to share with you the role that nutrition plays in genetics. In 1990, the Human Genome Project was started in order to identify all the genes in human DNA, determine the sequences of the chemical-based pairs that make up that DNA, store this info in databases, and improve tools for data analysis. As a result of this research, the field of genomics was created, which has helped medicine build on the knowledge gained to further the understanding of genetics to human health. As a result of this expansion of genomics into human health applications, the field of genomic medicine was born. Genetics is playing an increasingly important role in the diagnosis, monitoring, and treatment of diseases. In genetics, there's a term called single nucleotide polymorphisms, or SNPs. These are DNA sequence variations that occur when a single nucleotide in the genome sequence is altered. Although more than 99% of human DNA sequences are the same, variations in DNA sequence can have a major impact on how humans respond to disease. Environmental factors such as bacteria, viruses, and toxins and chemicals, and drugs and other therapies. This makes SNPs valuable for biomedical research and for developing pharmaceutical products or medical diagnostics. SNPs are also evolutionarily stable, not changing much from generation to generation, making them easier to follow in population studies. Now, nutrigenomics is the study of the effects of foods and food constituents on gene expression. Nutrigenomics aims to develop a rational means to optimize nutrition through the identification of the person's genotype. It is the relationship between nutrients and human health now that I've shared about the Human Genome Project and what SNP is, the question is how lifestyle, nutrition, and genomes interact. 21st century personalized nutrition is really the outgrowth of the Human Genome Project. It takes the guesswork and assumptions out of selecting proper nutrients and allows us to make highly specific nutritional and lifestyle recommendations. Today, we understand that nutrients we consume can change a gene's performance by acting on its control region and that communication between environment and genetics regulates the rate of protein synthesis. Now let's discuss the role that nutrition plays in genetics and look at three nutrients as an example. First, let's say you were taking several medications or were exposed to toxins that were accumulating in your body. If you were to eat foods high in glucosinates, such as broccoli, cauliflower, or Brussels sprouts, they will activate the genes responsible for cleansing the body of toxins. Another example would be one that you're really familiar with, which is reversatol, which is found in red wine. This nutrient stimulates a gene that protects tissues against damage from things like free radicals. Finally, another popular nutrient may, many people are familiar with is omega-3 fatty acids, primarily found in fatty fish. Omega-3s are shown to decrease inflammation. The way this works is the omega-3s have a direct effect on the gene expression of neurotransmitters for mood enhancement. The final takeaway from all of this is not all supplements and nutrients affect everyone the same way. It might be worthless for me to take a particular supplement that my friend takes. So this means being clear what your genes say and then plan your nutrition protocol accordingly. If you'd like to learn more about nutrigenomics and the role nutrition plays in our genetics and how it'll help you grow your business, join me and Leslie Koskala as we educate you about nutrigenomics in a three-week webinar series entitled Nutrigenomics 101 building your business with genetic testing. Sign up now to take advantage of our early bird special. Thank you so much for joining me today.